Warning, this audio or video may contain explicit language or extreme views. Discretion is advised. And we are back. Pain Train Pipe Bomb from the dungeon, Brooklyn, New York. Jim, Yo. was that the greatest 10 minutes in the world or not? Yes, it was. Because it's episode two. You. Helen, yeah. did you enjoy your phone call? It was something that had to be done, but hey, necessary. What are you going to do? Yes, shit happens. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Okay, see? So now we got this We got this up here. Mark is on it, looks like. No, no, that's Crosser. Okay. I didn't see it on there. I, I saw it over here. So we are doing the news. Now, there was some extensive research mm-hmm. over the past two weeks to find more morons on the planet. There was only one other person. Well, the, the, the one one person's not in the room right now because she's currently working on her baking projects or whatever. Mm. That knows about these articles. Okay, so this is even well. Jim has filled in a few of them. Yes, so that, I'm that's still that's, scarred. That's the way that just ends up. Oh, going. here we go. Yeah, these are the, the creme de la creme of uh, articles, <laughs> and I'm just noticing that Jim's mic is unplugged. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Oh, mess. no. That would explain something here. Because, uh... Okay, where did the cord go? Oh, there it is. All right, see? More technical issues in the dungeon. Oh, go well. Figure, <laughs> go figure that one out. Eek. All right, that sounds better. Okay, good. So, we start out with a very controversial one. And since we do have a member of our listening core that this actually would uh, fill in that a McDonald's tricked a Muslim family into eating bacon. Yeah. Whoopah. Okay. Well, this be a fun this one. article comes from some e cards dot com and where the fuck the dragon titties come from? Who's got dragon titties? Uh, somebody said drag. Uh, Cross who said dragon titties. <laughs> dragon titties. Yeah, dragon titties. I don't know. I, I don't know. What? You're asking me. I don't know. Dragon titties is funny though. Yes, dragon titties is funny. Um, and and like I said, this is controversial. Okay. We somehow strike controversial on the show. Um. But a Muslim family uh, says bigoted McDonald's workers tried to trick them into eating bacon. Now, I can't show the picture to the viewers because it just doesn't come out for some reason. Hmm. But they made these sandwiches. They look like chicken sandwiches. Yeah. And they stuck chunks of actual bacon on the sandwiches. Now, uh, apparently, like 14 of these sandwiches were made. Terrible. That must have been limited edition. Well, chicken sandwiches are actually one of the good ones that you eat at McDonald's. Yeah. So I can understand that. Mm-hmm. John, we are back because we do two episodes every week. Pay attention. <laughs> what did he say? I think he missed he the goes, memo. He goes, why are you back? Because we're always here. Except uh, for when we have to... Derp! When we have to work or go to concerts or Yankee games or whatever, <laughs> that's the only reason why we're not here. Okay. And um, Thomas, we are doing articles from the news that we have selected over the last two weeks, and we started off with this first one here from. Uh, let's see. Oh, this happened at an Alabama McDonald's. Alabama. Alabama, you know, the home of the KKK. Yeah, but still. We'll figure. Okay, so... What was a Muslim doing family? A Muslim Muslim family was visiting Alabama from New York, stopped into a McDonald's in Decatur, and according to the family, they ordered 14 McChicken sandwiches and started started noticing that they taste different. They opened the sandwiches and found small pieces of bacon in each one. Oh, good grief. Which means they had to specially make these sandwiches. Eh, John, fuck you too. And your post from the Wednesday night thing. Because I just Wednesday. saw that come through. 
Oh, brother. <laughs> we pay attention to everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Fueler is on. All right. Fueler is on. Woo! See, me, if it just, if, me personally, if uh, somebody fucked with my food, I'm fucking with them. I don't like that. I really, really, really do not like people fucking with my food. God. Don't eat it. No, but you know what, though? Like, you go and order the food, and it's supposed to be to what you order. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to add shit from the fuck uh, to the food. Especially if you know that you're, you're feeding Muslims, and that's something that they don't eat. It's against their religion. And I guarantee you, there are listeners out there, like, they are cringing right now. Yep. Because that's just not cool. No, it's just flat out wrong, honestly. Yeah, John, I have to talk to you later, by the way. Because we have an issue. So, uh -oh. that'll be that case. Now, I guess we can have some fun. Because now I got I got that article out of the way. I, I, I it, it makes me second guess eating at McDonald's, in a way. Mm. Because I don't know if my food's going to be good. You know? At least at Burger King, you can kind of see them making your food. Oh, yeah. Well, they do cater it the way you want it, at least. It, well, well in, a way, yes, way. In, a, in a way, no. Because to, to tell you the truth, like, mm -hmm. you that that's just fucking disgusting to me. Oh, no kidding. Um, and, and I don't, I, we, we've clearly said on the show, we don't, we try not to do the, we, we talk about religion or politics. Oh, yeah. That's... But in this case, there, there is some respect shown mm -hmm. to the, the, the religion on that. I'm sorry. Right. It's, it's just fucking obscene. Uh, we have, uh, that's why I stop eating out. I'd rather cook. Yeah, because at least you can control what you're doing, what goes in the food. And Karasu says he loves Burger King and Wendy's. Yes. Those are two good franchises, too. Yeah. Five Guys. Shout out to Five Guys. <laughs> no, 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 no. Shout out to which one that we eat last week? Smash Burger. Smash Burger. I've I'll never had Smash you, Burger. Like, Let I me like tell you, that is a burger. fucking, that is a delicacy and a half. I've never uh, had Smash Burger, so... John says he eats at 500, guys. <laughs> nice one. Because there's only like 500 guys that have probably, probably eaten there. All right, so we kind of switch it up a little bit. Oh, sweet. My friend Darcy's there. Hey, Darcy. And since we're talking about food mm -hmm. for this part... Yeah. This article here comes from, again, same website, someecards.com. And it is entitled, Woman Brings Breast Milk Brownies to a School Bake Sale. What? <laughs> and is not understanding why people are upset. Because she Whippa. made brownies with tit juice. <laughs> yeah, but unless you actually pronounce that I have personally made these brownies with my jugs, my tits, have fucking secreted... <laughs> This lovely breast milk into the mix. Oh, God. How the fuck does anybody know? Did she pump? <laughs> Did she put a label on it saying breast milk brownies? I don't, I, I've actually had... I, I've accidentally had breast milk. It's disgusting. To me. <laughs> I'm older now. It happens. You know, you're looking for a little milk of your coffee, and there's nothing left in the, the gallon container. You see a fucking... A, a baby bottle with a nipple on it, you squeeze a little in, you know? Oh, God. <laughs> that's like something you see on fucking, uh, that movie with, uh, what the fuck was his name? The one that played Batman. Michael Keaton? Michael Keaton. Mr. Mom. When he played Mr. Mom. Yes. He oh, did the same thing movie. in the movie. <laughs> he did the exact same thing in the movie. Come on. Anyway. Oh, well. <laughs> so we even have comments of what the fuck is wrong with people and no fucking way. <laughs> See, I, I had to get started. The, the first episode, I was a little... Oh, my uh, God. Look at look at Fast <laughs> yeah. He'd be fucking happy to have breast milk. <laughs> but they, I love the way that they say it, though, that the unnamed mother wrote a Facebook post complaining about the backlash she received when people discovered that she used her own <laughs> boob juice in the recipe instead of regular milk. There's not enough... I, I don't know. I don't know. The texture is just wrong. I'm sorry. It just is. First off, I even want to know why. Why? 
Would you? Was she too cheap to buy milk? Why would you subject people to breast milk if you know you're going for a brownie? I can see if it's a weed brownie, then it might be a different story. You know, you could get all hallucinated and shit. <laughs> Why not? Oh, what the fuck? People fucking just have seen. See, I'm not the only one that's accidentally done the breast milk thing. <laughs> Caruso has admitted it. I did too, by accident. <laughs> that's a story. That's a story in itself. Okay? So I'm not the only fucking idiot that went to get extra milk for his coffee by finding it in the fucking the, the, the thing. <laughs> and Benjamin Franklin has joined. Oh, boy. <laughs> Bon Bon Bigelow is on the show. Bon Bon Bigelow, And you are just captivated in that phone. You should be playing the fucking tune right now. I'm looking <laughs> up fucking articles as well. Welcome to Mike Polly too. Mike, don't forget, today's TFB's birthday. Oh, boy. Yes, I said it again. Another shout out to fucking Tom fucking Brady on his 40th <laughs> birthday. That's a huge bitch. There you go. I had to break away from the article. Yeah. All this fucking electronical bullshit going on here right now. You got candles setting the mood. Oh, sweet. Oh, sweet what? You've no, been sitting here the entire time. The candles have been here. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Uh, I have a few friends who joined in. Um, shout out to Mike, Joey, and Danny for coming on the show, as well as Darcy. Welcome back. Going on with another food-based thing. <laughs> even though it's, it's not even a food. This article comes from BamMargera.com. Oh, I love that okay. guy. And you, you're you're pretty cool with Bam Margera because, you know, people said you at one time looked like Bam Margera. And you, <laughs> you look like Bob Hope. <laughs> 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 a woman says the Snapchat hot dog raped her and now she's pregnant. What? Yeah, it's true. Honestly, I will actually read this one, but I, I have to play the, the, the fucking tone for it, too. Oh, God. Let's see if I hold What the hell? Exactly. There we go. Oh, here Snapchat. we go. Snapchat. The name alone either inspires joy in the minds of its millions of users or dread for those forced to endure the endless parade of people, puppy faces, and other cutesy animated accessories. I hate those fucking things, by the way. They make your face fucking small. They put flowers on your head. Yep. They make you look like a goddamn mouse. <laughs> so oh, welcome, Jason and Keith, to the show. Hey, what's up, George? Oh, uh, Jason and Keith. Ah, uh, Jason and Keith, yes. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Um, uh, not to interrupt, but... This yes, I'm reading. I'm going to read that, that comment out right now. <laughs> my son did it by accident also. He latched onto his mom in the middle of the night. And then realized what he was doing and said, bitch, go get me my bottle. <laughs> that's wow. outrageous. But, you know, that's the funny thing, though, is that the kid said it, you know. It just... <laughs> why, why do I have this feeling that he was the one who said it anyway? I feel like it's him. I think he whispered it into his son's ear. and then he I, just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because, you know, that's John that Black. Depends on, I know, but that depends on how old his son is. Oh, he's a youngin. But he's a cool youngin, though. Uh-huh. You know. Okay. He will be somebody that John will really torture and twist and mold uh, into, we're his, doomed. Dad's, into yes. his dad's uh, thing. We're doomed. But at least he'll have a love for horror movies. So we'll oh, be cool lovely. So, Bon Bon, why are you quiet over there? We're not, we I don't even know if she's still in the fucking room. I can't even see it. Oh, oh, shoot. Heather. All right. Hey, Heather. So, it's 2017 complete with a devil may care attitude built right in. Uh... Can you use something that doesn't mean you should? End of win Western civilization and all. Um, right now, there's nothing funny about sexual assault. It's not a subject noted for its comedic qualities and should always be taken seriously. Except maybe in this case. Now we are trying facetious and or snarky when you hear the facts of this particular implausible social media post. Oh, Lord. And you'll see what we mean. Again, rape is not funny. No, it never is. The person's pathetic attempt to cover up her own bad choices kind of is. <clears throat> Just to show the picture for the article. This oh, is here hilarious. we go. Right. 
Okay, I'm, I'm sure everybody can see that. Oh my god. Okay? <laughs> a guy dressed up in a fucking hot dog outfit oh, is getting to fucking poke her in the poop chute from behind, leaning over some kind of fucking counter or whatever in a kitchen. Wow. So he put his hot dog juice in her and I got her pregnant. Supposedly. How do we know that if wasn't she's fucking... Gonna be, if, she, if he shot it in her poop chute, how the hell do you get pregnant from there? That's anatomically wrong. He could have missed. He could have missed. The holes are not too far away from each other. No, they're not. Anatomically speaking. Uh, then again, Did I know. say pooper? Yes. By the way, they also have this comedic po a picture of the hot dog. Oh, uh, uh, I'm done. Oh, cool. Michelle's here. Hey, Michelle. No, I, I, I see all these comments, but like, yeah. Okay, I saw that old dildo. Ah, Fior, Fior, you rock. <laughs> she's using a dildo? What? Yeah, she's doing a dildo <laughs> while, while thinking about the guy in the hot dog uh, outfit over there. Me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Say it. Say it. Maybe she uh, was the one who called and spoke in a deeper voice. <laughs> Fior, did you just say, Fior, did you call up and say that you wanted to fuck the Asian woman? <laughs> that happened in the episode before, by the way, for nobody that was uh, paying attention to that. Um, oh, God. So we go from She's one woman's vagina to another. <laughs> wow. These things just, they, they, they miraculously just somehow fit together. Some sexual innuendo shit. Um, Sex sells. What can we say? We this article is that. from eBombsWorld.com. Oh, I know. <laughs> eBombsWorld. I like that one. We haven't been on that site in a while. A woman scans her vagina and a 3D printed out a <laughs> kayak. Talk about damaged goods. How wide is her fucking badge? First off, well, the wait, vagina wait, wait, wait. is a very flexible muscle. That's number one. First but... off, this wasn't in the United States. Okay? Figures. Where was um, it? I wonder. Let's see, Japan. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Leave it to the Japanese to be a bunch right, of sexual wait, 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 wait. Before, before we even go any further, mm. if you look at this picture of the camera, okay? Now, I'll, I'll, I'll show it to everybody. That thing... Looks like some type of old school fucking movie camera. Uh, yeah, it hat. is. All right. So, I hate that hat. I'm, I'm sure that it's hat that. was hideous. Well, it's a fucking yes. beret. Yeah. I hate that beret. Okay. So, just so our viewers can see that, that this woman is straddling, it looks like two tables and a fucking clothes hanger, and getting that old school fucking camera on her, her gooch. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> and I mean, this thing is fucking. Huge. That is a huge fucking camera. All right? No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm like, what the? What For it to seriously, uh -huh. seriously turn out looking, mm -hmm. uh, I'm waiting for the picture to load. Mm. Okay? This is what the 3D camera sees. Okay? Oh, brother. Well, show this to them. Yeah. That's the picture of what the camera saw. Oh, okay. That eh, doesn't work well. You gotta take the brightness down. Oh, okay. there it is. There we go. Okay? So that's what the camera sees. It looks like the fucking hole in the door. Like when you put the doorknob in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's that's like what one of those do not disturb signs. That's what it looks like. This is what it fucking printed out. Whoop -ba. Now honestly, okay. Wow. I, I mean not everybody's crotch area looks the same. They're all different. All right, I have a little man on the boat comment. I don't know where that fucking came from, and I have more fucking eggplants <laughs> and hot dogs. Okay, so this is what it printed out: oh, a three D printer looking at a crotch printed out that. That's fucking hilarious. It's fucking hilarious, dude. <laughs> I'm disturbed. I mean, I've seen. Uh, I don't know. Okay, well, I, I have no comment on well, this. But sorry. Well, I'm my lost. comment to this is 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 going on to like, if a three D printer can't do that, 
then how the fuck do they make chocolate molds of pussies and penises? Right. I mean, we've been to plenty of bowling parties where they had the fucking the chocolate the chocolate crotches. Yeah. You know the chocolate pussies. Yeah. You know, and those for the guys that were eating the uh, the tacos without breaking them. <laughs> yes, it is. An, we have a viewer in that that jumped on now that will contest to that. Uh, it's actually Jim's brother Brian that uh, will contest to the taco eating thing. Yes. Um, absolutely. fat bastard actually uh, competed in it and lost. He got beat. ate the taco because he was hungry. <laughs> well, because he's a fat bastard. Fat ass. Oh, boy. <sighs> All right, so since we were going with vaginas. <laughs> you know, dude, off topic, I'm a, not actually, it's kind of on topic. Before we go on with that, I just saw an article before about a guy who got his chocolate assholes made from his own and sent it to his girlfriend. You see... Uh, that's where I kind of draw the line. That's cringeworthy. I'm right, sorry, but that's I want to know how they molded his asshole. He laid, according to the I, picture, I, he laid on his back with his legs in stirrups, and they put the chocolate on his fart box. So, in other words, this guy, oh God, help me, is sending a hairy treat to his girlfriend, who probably gets enough hair in her mouth. When she slobs his knob every fucking day. <laughs> All right? Yeah, I don't understand that. How could you send a hairy chocolate piece to your girlfriend? Actually, uh, let's see. It says that. I don't want to see a picture of his no, asshole. I'm not showing you a picture of his fog <laughs> box. No, it says that what they do is that they, they put uh, molding. They don't start off with the chocolate. They put molding. Then they, oh, they, I see. They clean up the molding and then they right, put the right. chocolate in the mold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's how they make it. Funny, I, I would think that he, he would have hot chocolate on his ass, but oh well, that's a different story. I <laughs> hope they clean it all up. No, to me, see, that's that's underwear. just wrong. I feel like I'm being <laughs> violated if I have anybody making a mold of my asshole. I'm sorry. I don't let my the doctor stick fart, his finger up my ass. Do you, wait, well, I don't let my doctor. Time for prostate screening. Yeah, you're. You know, you have all, no choice in the listen, matter. He's tried. He's tried, and I've always farted on his finger, oh, or I shit, and it just I, it, it just turns him off. So fucking. Hey, he comes out, he's got a, it went in white, came out brown. You know, like, oh. I don't like anybody touching my asshole. I don't even like touching my own asshole. Then how are you going to get your prostate tested? Or Let screened? them fucking do it through a fucking machine or something. I don't oh, know. Oh, boy. You should fuck with the doctor. He starts, you know, working his... I'm going to make sure I eat fucking there. Taco Bell the night before. Doctor, I like it. <laughs> Start fucking with the doctor. So we have a comment here that asks, Jimmy, are you sure it wasn't you that made the ass mold? For his girlfriend. Fior. <laughs> Picking on me. Because she's still waiting to have a boob off. <laughs> and we've got called a bunch of nasty fucks, too. So, it's, it's, it's really funny. <laughs> so while we're talking about crap canyons. Oh, God. <laughs> a guy. This is from hiptoro.com. Okay. A guy dumps a girlfriend after posting a poop selfie on Snapchat. What? Yes, the nasty bitch took a picture of her taking a shit and posted it for the world to see. And he dumped her for it. And he dumped her. And rightfully so. Oh my gosh, he deserved it. So, if you really want to know uh, this fucking bitch. <laughs> I don't know um, if I want to. Well, she's not an attractive person to begin with. This is true. Oh, gross. The funny thing is, is that she's taking a picture of herself taking a shit, but blocked out her pussy hair. Oh, brother. Ew. Now, would you want to date something like that? <laughs> would you want somebody like that giving you a blumpkin? She, <laughs> she think about even it. labeled it poop selfie. Yeah. Oh, God. Here's your show, everybody, all right? This fucking monstrosity of a fucking Now the age old question is how many how many people in this uh, chat is gonna say, Oh, she's hot. <laughs> so we have a comment on here, that's a sick bitch. Yeah, no. Uh, I divorced uh, John Black says he'd divorce his wife if she did that. Damn. And there is a crap load of poop emojis everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> like seriously, I don't understand, like 
Do you not have any decency to fucking... No, she has no self-respect. And cool. Mm-hmm. She has no cool. Did you stop stealing my material? That's <laughs> my fucking you line, say man. It. I jumped you know, on it. <laughs> I'm just going to nasty your mood tonight now for this. Oh, boy. Because I'm sitting there thinking about it. I can understand now as younger people, okay, if you want to maybe classify this bitch as a fucking millennial. Oh, she's definitely a millennial. She's a um, snowflake. John says he shit all over her. And Enzo said that's gross. <laughs> um... I don't know. These comments haven't caught up yet. Well, so. oh, but I've got these over here, so that's why we have the secondary. And then we have our other monitor person over here. Mm -hmm. See. <laughs> um, listen, not not for anything. I can remember back in the day. Oh my where... God, Karasu uh, made an interesting comment. She looks like Harley Quinn. I was thinking the same shit. Yeah. I was yes, like, what but you would. Freak? But then John says he bathed her with a golden shower. Cause Ew. Because you, know, you know she's just shitting and he needs to piss on her. Ew. Um. <laughs> But I remember back in the day when we used to send each other fucking shit pics. Oh my you god! You know all different types of uh, craps that we've taken and whatnot. No some way. that have, some that have looked like soft serve ice cream. Oh, dude! Um, what about that? Uh, there was an actual website, RateMyPoo.com. <laughs> that website still exists. Yes. It However, does. they have what? a uh, they actually have a an age uh, rating on it now. Yeah. Like it's uh, not everybody can rate your poo now. No, oh my God. no. Anybody over the age of eighteen can rate your crap, but oh dear God! But I can only what, imagine what, doctors who comes that have with this stuff. Um, sick to perverted people like us. We should have created that website. We would be making thousands of dollars. Thousands. <laughs> yeah, do me just do yourselves a favor. Just send us a picture of your shit. <laughs> Mike still does that, by the way. Oh Fast God! Sends pictures of his poop. Mara! Yes, I di See? identify your crap. Oh! <laughs> no, you did not. I gotta say, that was pretty impressive. Hold on. I'll give that one an eight. Oh! Okay. Really? <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. No, you uh, didn't. That one was a five. Oh my god, that one's like a snake. <laughs> All right. I, oh, come on! I, I, in a way, have kind of decided that I'm gonna rotate this this article list all right enough with the poo Ugh. enough with the poo Wait, what, what the hell why do i keep it in the oh there you go Got oh, in the fucking button there. Christ. it's still recording a lot i hit See, the start button uh, i don't know why i don't even want to know now <laughs> oh you know, well you can't unsee that all right well yeah what was see can never be unsee that's don't what worry about it because said. we are going to have her fall over after her seeing this next picture. Oh, oh no. Again, Lord. another one from BamMargera.com. <laughs> oh, boy. Here we go. Here we go. You thought poop was gross? Uh-oh. A man gets his junk severed off while attempting to climb a spiked fence. That is self-bobitizing, it sounds like. Um... Now they they have them. made the obje object or objects mm -hmm. a little shaded out. They kind of blocked it out a little bit. Viewers, wait for this. Watch, 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 watch. Watch this reaction. Anybody for testicle on the fence? <laughs> That's his yeah, fault. I, I know. I, I saw. It. That is his own doing. Okay, so. Testicle on a fence, people. Here we go. And wait for it. And right next to it is that poor bastard that fucking has, like, no nuts now. Because <laughs> that's just the way he is. Oh, boy. That's even, his own fault. You can't even like call I him said. one nut. How about no nuts? <laughs> By the way, this article is actually really that fresh that it's only three hours old. Damn. So, the, Bam Margera got this article and was like... That's going to fucking happen. It's got to be put out. That's it. It's done. And a little bit of this article, I'll read it for you guys. The thought of losing a body part is probably something that's pretty scary to most of us. After all, we've all gotten used to having certain appendages, mm -hmm. and we'd be pretty lost without them. Yeah. But while we love all of our body parts, I think most guys would agree that they have an extra special attention to their private parts. 
The thought of losing them is probably enough to make lots of guys damn near pass out. Yep. I can see that happen. Okay. For one guy, that tragic thought became a recent reality after a strange run-in with a fence. Yeah, you could probably tell where this story is going, and it ain't pretty. Yep, yep. You'll never look at a fence the same ever again. Nope. He's lucky he's not. he didn't uh, hit, hit on barbed wire. According to reports, the man was attempting to climb a fence while drunk and thought he'd clear the top and was greeted with the most unpleasant surprise. Evidently, his junk got caught on one of the fence spikes mm. and, well, gravity took care of the rest. Mm -hmm. The man then th went to a local hospital where he told authorities that no one else was involved in the accident. There's no report on whether or not Anything could be done to save the guy's manhood, but I have a bad feeling that things aren't looking good. Homeboy is going to have to sit down and piss and shit for the rest of his life. Yep. Or in a colostomy bag or whatever. Mm -hmm. We have uh, <laughs> look, look, balls on a hook <laughs> is a uh, comment. Yeah, and there's a video of it, which uh, I'll, I'll try to share. No, the... I'm not looking at that shit. <laughs> I, I don't know. To honestly tell you, it kind of like freaks me out. Why would you film your boy getting his nuts caught on a fence? Well, he wasn't setting out to film him getting his nuts caught on the fence. He was just filming him doing a dumb stunt that went wrong. Ow. You see, yeah, it went horribly wrong. Just, so there goes his sex life. True. Well, you definitely know he's not going to be a sperm donor. Yeah. Although I, I don't have the article, but there was a article about a guy who died and his woman went to the hospital and they asked him to drain all of his semen out of his sack. And like six months later, she got pregnant from it. Hmm. Wait, wait, they, they extracted a sperm? Yes. They extracted oh, a sperm from his cock and fucking they put it in a sperm bank. You know, they, they, they did whatever it is. They matured it or whatever. Mm -hmm. And she got injected and they, she had a kid. Oh, uh, what was it? Artificial insemination. See. I don't know. I don't understand why they say it's artificial. They fucking jam something in you and then impregnate you. Because it's not from actual sex. Exactly. But how do you know it's not from like a prosthetic dick? It's still Why it's can't it be that realistic? It should be that realistic. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> God, why am I thinking of these things? Why? Why, why? Oh, my God. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right. So, since we're talking about dicks, we'll go to this one. And this is from <laughs> the LADBible.com. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a good website. And this show so happens to be one of Melissa's favorite websites to fucking read. <laughs> yes. Yep. Um... <laughs> The most dangerous sex position for men is revealed. Oh, boy. Here we go. <laughs> men out there watching the show, grab your dick and run. <laughs> grab your sack. Not on the fence. Put that in a fucking thing of saran wrap because you're never using it ever again after reading it. <laughs> oh, here we go. When reading the Karma Sutra, the last thing on your mind is health and safety. Very rarely it is considered in the heat of the moment you consider your personal welfare. Mm -hmm. Yet now, you may wish to consider exactly how you're going to do it as hospitals have spoken of the figures as to the most dangerous sex position for men. Neat. Doing it doggy style leaves blokes at a greater risk of a broken penis Oops. than another position. It's a British thing. <laughs> Just behind, no pun, the missionary position. Really? Third most likely cause is overzealous masturbation. Overzealous. Um, overzealous, yeah. Right, I've heard wait. that. <laughs> there was a study that guys can go blind from jerking off. Okay. You can get shortness of breath from jerking off. As Hypoxia. well as you can, you can pull muscles from jerking off. And if they're not careful, as they entitle this next paragraph, a broken penis. Mm. 
And I was explaining that to the doctor. Doc, I broke my dick. <laughs> oh, fuck. A broken penis, scientifically known as a penile fracture. <laughs> How is... There's We've no bones in there. Terms now you can on, break, uh, believe it or not. No, I believe it, but there's no bone. It's just cartilage, I think. Well, a penile fracture happens when the tubes keep an erection bend with an agonizing pop oh boy. after being accidentally thrust against a hard job object oh. such as a partner's pubic bone. Uh-oh. Yeah, that could do it. In the UK last year alone, there were 18 cases of penile fracture. That's just in the UK. Goddamn. Oof. If Enzo's watching, Enzo, do me a favor. Look up how many penile fractures there were in the United States. But the question is how many would actually report them? That's the thing. Yeah, some people could be really um, embarrassed. Oh, I would yeah. see I would see That's as just a like huge, cases too. But wait a minute, but, but think about this though. What? Okay. If you have a broken dick, mm-hmm. all right, you know, a corrupt cock, <laughs> you can't piss. It's just not possible. Sorry, I couldn't help but to see what uh, Miss Torres had to say. Yeah, she. I. I. I yes, I have <laughs> a lot of uh, cock issues because it, it's just been cock all day, all night so far. Oh God! But she needs cock anyway, so just uh, it, it's an indirect way of satisfying her. I'll wait for that comment. <laughs> okay, men in their twenties or thirties are more likely to suffer because of the better fitness and firmer erections. I am safe. I'm in my 40s. <laughs> you just entered your 40s. But I am in my 40s. I'm not in my 20s or 30s anymore. So I am clear. <laughs> Fior, that I did not need to know about the doggy style position with you. What? What she say? She says she loves doggy style. No, Karasu said it. No, Fior said it. So did Karasu. But she put actual puppies <laughs> after the comment. Um, oh God! They actually did a they actually did a study on this, which is horrible. It's horrible. Yes, I do need. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think we're just gonna do a fucking search for Fior. She, she says, oh, geez. "Yes, I do need eggplants." Oh wow, we've got quite a few viewers that uh, just joined. She's got a supermarket down the block from her. She doesn't go. <laughs> Okay, so they did a study on this. And <laughs> seven cases of penile fractures in the United States. How many? 87? 87 wow. in the United States. Let's see. That means we have from freakier fucking people in the U.S. Yes. than there are in the U.K. And that's from 2010 to present day. Oh, well, Wait, 87 that, 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 total. But that's not yes. last year, though. Because last year there was 18 in the U.K. alone. No, it was uh, you know, the, the, site that I, <clears throat> the site that I looked up said since... Dating back from 2010, there's been 87 cases of penile fracture so in the United they, States. So in this article, they did some research. Okay. Um, they quizzed 90 people on this impotence research thing. And they all became impudent because of doggy style. So to all of our listeners out there that like to do it fucking humpty hump. Yeah, you might want to be careful. You might lose your dick. Literally. But, this is in my benefit now, okay? Because I'm still in the range. At the top of the article, they it's not about getting the white coat on during sex. But research also found that the best penetration angle during sex is at 30 to 40 degrees. You won't break your penis if you angle your dick inside 30 to 40 degrees. Well, who's going to want to fucking do scientifics before banging? I'd I get mean, a compass. Who needs a like, protractor right, for that? Well, I would do that, though. <laughs> I don't want to break my dick. I don't want to fucking sit down to pee. Have limp dick, can't piss. You know, can't hit the fucking back half of the urinal. Oh my well, God. for that matter, I might as well just aim for the sink. Just droop her right over. Oh, right God. In the sink. You guys missed that if you didn't watch the first episode. That's true. 
These people, man. Well, let me tell you. <laughs> but if it weren't for these people, we wouldn't be having any fun now, would we? But you know what? Now we're going to go from cock to balls again. Okay? <laughs> Sounds like a very uh, male-based uh, show. Well, you got the fucking women taking a shit, posting it on fucking Snapchat. Who does that? One woman gets pregnant by a fucking hot dog. Oh, yeah, yeah. Although I could share, nah, you know what? I'm not sharing that story. <laughs> that was from junior high. Okay. I'll feel really old after that one. Oh God! All right. I never miss my junior high school years. So we go back to someecards.com. Okay. And a man lights balls on fire while tr trying to kill a tick. Bad move. I'd say so. If this only could have prevent been prevented somehow. Yeah, like, pick it off for tweezers. Don't burn your sack. No so, need for that. I mean, what makes a fucking guy think, you know what, I'm going to get this tick off my ball. Someone hand me the fucking fl the lighter fluid and the matches. You know? No, what about the uh, what about those little handheld torches that you use in the kitchen? Either way, why the fuck are you trying to burn the tick out of your balls? In the Boy Scouts... When we were taught to take ticks out, we didn't have no flames by our testicles. Somebody had to do it for you with a pair of tweezers. Do it yourself. Now they're talking about angling their dick, angling dicks in the fucking in the in the chat. By the way, <laughs> who's saying what? Who is going to have time to angle your dick over and over? That will kill the mood every time you to stop adjust to adjust your cock. Well, people on Viagra, Fior, don't lose their fucking heart on. <laughs> I don't know. You, you fucking people, I swear. Oopa. So this guy returned from a family camping trip, and the souvenir that he got was a tick. Yeah. Oh, here's an interesting comment from JB. Hmm. I grew up with a girl that broke a wiener off in her. You know what? Now I have to tell a story. You know, <laughs> I was trying not to. But this forced your but hand. This, that, that comment just killed it off. Yep, forced it. So. That's forcing one's hand. Junior high, seventh grade, oh lunchroom. Uh-oh. On a Wednesday. Girls in the lunchroom mm -hmm. that day were fooling around. And one guy decided to dare this girl to stick a hot, girl, a hot dog in her gooch. Uh, Ooh, gooch. we've got a call. It's the same guy. No. You're on the pipe bomb. Good morning. Good morning, folks. Good morning. <laughs> what are we in fucking uh, Vietnam? Yes, we are. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know, we mentioned balls, you know, the small and knuckle had to come in. Now entering that's what the twenty feet. <laughs> oh, oh boy. The swollen knuckle. The swollen knuckle. The the swollen knuckle calls in. <laughs> and the hairy ass. <laughs> oh I give up. <laughs> that's that's it. it. I couldn't help it, guys. I couldn't help I couldn't help it. I could not help it, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh man. So John Black now uh, said out loud that he swears on the atheist gods. That his friend had a tick on the edge of his dick. Ow. Oh, I mean, I mean, actually, what was well, actually getting head? If you think about it. Bloody oh, head. that just killed it. it was, I got head. I got head from a tick. Not, not from the tick. A well, tick. but you know, definitely know the tick got a load. <laughs> a load of blood. <laughs> Literally, I don't know something. Something's got to be coming out of that thing. Ugh. Oh now, that, 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 that's crazy because think about it. Ticks, ticks actually go inside your skin. That shit is, oh, oh. They do dig not, in. Oh, oh. They have fangs to do that. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They actually dig, they actually dig in. And half their body, you got you to gotta burn it. Something like that. They say, you put that out. Well, the the, the never, proper first this. aid for that is you're supposed to heat up a needle. So you, right. you disinfect the needle, and you can actually pull the tick out with the needle. And then what right. you have to do is you have to clean it out and then put a bandage over it so it doesn't get Can you imagine somebody, oh, uh, somebody, oh, uh, God. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty horrifying, wow, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's not yeah like it those, is. I mean, it's not like those, um, 
you remember in the uh, the movie The Rundown where they were going into that lake? Yeah. And she goes, you don't want anything going into your dick? Oh, well, they've got to cut your dick off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think I would find that kind of worse than a tick, though. You know, you know what's so funny? You ever, you ever seen the cartoon, um, um, a Metalocalypse? Yes. Remember the, um, okay, remember the car, remember the episode where, uh, the, I went to the Amazon River or something like that? And, um, the bass player, I forgot the, um, yeah, murder face with the piss in the river. And, and when he went to piss in the river, like, like, like a whole bunch of, um, like, parasites kept, like, going up from his urine, like, you know, into his, um, his, his dick. Yeah. That shit was crazy. Yeah, that a lot shit of that shit's crazy. crazy. That shit is disgusting, man. That shit is, uh, uh, uh But this uh, is, uh. but this is why I don't go to, like, Brazil or something like that, because I'm afraid I'm going to fucking lose my penis. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Like you go to these rainforest things, and you're like, "Oh, don't go in the I water. Mean, I... you'll, you'll, you'll get some type of fucking uh... piranhas." No, no, not piranhas. <laughs> the piranhas, you just lose yourself. Period. But you know, oh yeah, leeches. Yeah, you get those yeah, leeches, leeches or the it. fucking uh... what the? I can't forget what they fucking call them now. I don't know. Not parasites. Yeah, yeah or... parasites. You get a parasite. Par- in your yeah, dick. parasite. Yeah. Well, one of them. Yeah. Oh. I mean, some people can uh, afford to lose their dick from a parasite because they probably have no dick. But you know, you know, actually, there are episodes like that before. I was like, the parasites going out of shit like that. I'm yeah. Even the episodes, they, 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 they it's just some of the exactly. weirdest shit, though. Yeah, it is. It, 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 it's scary, especially too. You know, when you're a man, like you know us, you know us, you know we we gotta, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, frustration. <laughs> this is a way for Jordan Brown up in uh, New Brunswick. <laughs> New Brunswick. Uh. New Brunswick, Canada. Ah, oh, <laughs> I'm still waiting for my maple syrup from all the other things, you know. Oh, Canada. <laughs> Cross, don't even. Yeah, let's not. Uh, let's not go for that one. Hi. I do have a couple of native Canadian friends. I will admit that, but still. Wait, did you say it? Hi. John Black. John Black has said that he's gotten a blowfish stuck on his dick once, and it's not good. A blowfish. What? Yo. Wow. 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 <laughs> God help me. Wow, what the that fuck? A, that must be some type of blowjob, man, for real. That's what I'm saying. That's wow. what I just said. And that takes the blowjob to a whole new level. Oh, my God. What the oh, hell? That's... Exactly. Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> oh, my that's God. fucking obscene, I think. <clears throat> Sorry. I don't know. Oh my god. Jeez. <laughs> oh my. Might as well. I'm still I'm still trying to figure this whole blowfish on his dick thing. Like yeah, how, that, how do you do that? How small was that blowfish, let alone what was the size of his dick? What, what Why don't you ask John yourself? You're online with him right now. He'll gladly tell oh my you. God. As long as he doesn't oh show me God. we're good. He will tell you how big his penis is. His <laughs> wife might get mad, but... Oh, my God. Because he's even saying in the room, don't judge me. <laughs> well, he put himself there, so yeah. He opened himself up for that one. Come on. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, um, not to, not, not to like, go all the way back down, but um, this, this is what I wanted to deal with you guys about the whole, um, you know, the whole breast milk thing? You know, the little accidental thing that, okay. that I had? Well, apparently, this is when basically I, I, I kind of did it, did some chick at my job, like, last year around this time. And apparently, you know, I was talking on her boob. You know, uh, you know, come to find out, she had silicone on her boob, but the bitch is still lactating. Yeah. I was so, like, in other words, I, wait, 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 wait. I said, so, I in said, other what? words, you're in the sexual act, you're chewing on her nibs, and all of a sudden, her nib explodes into like a fucking milk secretion thing. Oh God! Here yeah. we go. Yeah, that's yeah, a little yo, too I'm much just... info for me. Like, you know, like, yo, I might be just a little I'm too like, much like, info. 
yo, I looked, yo, real so I looked at I was like, yo, I was so unexpected, I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? <laughs> I was like, oh no. That that was that just threw me off. Like I was like, what the hell? Oh man. Why do we got people arguing about rubbing each other's boobs? <laughs> Oh, Jesus what? Christ. What is... You're missing these comments, dude. You need to jump back into the comment section. I'm reading them oh, right God. I, I, I think I do. I think I do. Wow. I do. No, I'm just telling Karasu. He's missing all these comments. Yes, he is. Oh, Holy God. Crap. He was talking about boo Oh, room. my God. We got Allison in the room now. Billy no. Salvatore was in the room a few seconds ago. Oh, my God. Oh, man. What the fuck is wrong? I don't know. Like... I really I gotta, gotta, I gotta I really gotta tell this story oh before we, we sign off. You know? <laughs> oh my god, that 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 uh, And we've got a flood of emojis, so time for the chachi rubbing. That's I'm doing the emojis. I'm watching them Worst and they're mixing between Fior and you. <laughs> Wait, me? me? No, him! I'm doing my own emojis here. <laughs> they're, they're doing like a fucking a movie boob a boob challenge off, but the problem is is that we can't see off. Fior fucking boobing off. Nope. Unless we're oh my God. Not live. Yeah. <laughs> we have to work on that. We have to get like a, a, a another show together like that. John Black said, from my wife's mouth, that shit's big enough. <laughs> <laughs> John, is your wife wait, wait, watching wait, wait, along wait, with you? Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait, wait. I'm actually watching this. Rub your boobs. Dip. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> now he can't. Wow. I, I, I'm looking at it. I just, I just, I just, I just, I just looked at it. I hold my phone. I'm like, what the fuck? By the way, I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm letting I mean, you know. know I, I just want you know I, I just have to make this known. Okay. That I, I was speaking with my cousin Richie earlier today, mm -hmm. and he is a first time viewer, See? watching us right oh, now no. from PA. Oh no. Mm -hmm. He did not be, think. He, he did not think right that the show could be as raunchy as it is right now. <laughs> and believe me, Rich, I'm telling you, this this is nothing. You gotta see some of these episodes. Yeah, he needs to go to the YouTube channel. Seriously, wait till he watches the sexual innuendo episode. We have two of those. We have two of those. John said, "John said she walked in as you guys were talking about my cock." Wow! What timing? Oh no! I hope she didn't walk in you asked how big it is. Oh shit! That means she's gonna have to come back to the bowling alley, you know. Yes. Why would we have to do? Out? You know what? We have to do a show from the bowling alley. Oh boy, that would be hilarious. Thank Bing. Thank Wait, Bing. Wow. Oh, I can't play it on that phone. Damn it! God damn it! Hold on. <laughs> well, I gotta fucking go back to it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, I don't have this phone. Oh wait, yeah, I do. <laughs> Hold on. Frank and beans. There we go. I got a Frank and beans. <laughs> Fior says, Jimmy, I'm rubbing my boobs. <laughs> nice. That means somebody needs to go visit her. Take care of oh, yeah, yeah. some business. Oh my god. Uh, Woo! Oh, that's it. We got to take care of business if I was, you know, the, the not pipe with bomb anybody. has to, the pipe bomb goes to Shell Wings. Yes. But also remember the pipe bomb needs to go to La Casa de Woodstock Pops. Yeah, whatever that's wow. gonna be. <laughs> wow. I'm working on that. That's funny. I still haven't met Pops yet. Wait, hold on. You will. Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> how'd you get the prank above? Allison said, how'd you get the prank above the beans? Faith and beans. Oh, You're watching God. the story too much. Oh, my God. Faith and beans. Oh, man. Faith and beans. Oh, my God. Oops, laughing out loud, she says. <laughs> oh, my God. Excuse me. Mike is She's rubbing his wife's boobs right now. Are you trying to get a prank oh, above the beans? Mike, is she rubbing yours, too? <laughs> Oh god, we got like a fucking <laughs> we, we got a boo ball from Jersey, we got a boo ball from Brooklyn. Uh, I don't know. We should get it for like paper. Thank god something. I'm flying out tomorrow. Jeez. Why? So oh you can have a boo ball from Dallas? No! Who are you gonna boo ball from Dallas with? No one? Yourself. <laughs> I wanna have a boo ball. Yeah. Oh god. But who are you challenging though? I have no idea. <laughs> 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 Mike said that Mara is rubbing his boobs. Oh, oh god. my god! Wow! Uh, oh god! Uh, Thank the beans. Oh jeez! Thank the beans. Thank <laughs> like the beans. There we go. Hi. Hi. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> a... <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. So John Black says uh, it was like it was a well thought out plan. I, I don't know about that one. I mean Bjor says oh, hey. Bjor, Bjor says Carasso, you always have blue balls. Oh shit! So she has to confirm the sign, the, the size of, uh... The dimensions. John just said, John's, oh, uh, my wife is on. <laughs> Welcome to Eddie... Louise's Ains? Yeah, Liz is Wayne's. Hi, Eddie. <laughs> I said that right? You know, Mike challenges a, a fucking blue ball. <laughs> Uh-oh. What? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know when I see that happening? You know, I just, I just no. thought about this. Wait, no. wait. I just thought about this. Okay. We are going to have a special broadcast. Right. Mm -hmm. Labor Day weekend. A boob off special edition? A boob off special edition. Oh, my God. Labor Day barbecue. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> What's going on, Jeff? Yo, Jeff. Hey. What do you think of that one? Though? Uh, I, I really like that idea. I like the idea. We could have a get together for Labor Day weekend for the viewers of the show. That sounds good. Who's, who's I'm only, the only, that sounds good. The only thing I'm saying is, is I am not supplying all the food for the barbecue. Every, all, the all the I'll listeners, all the listeners can chip something Hot in. Luck! All the listeners can chip something in, and we all get together and we can do a special broadcast. Potluck. That sounds like an awesome idea. What do you think? <laughs> I like the idea. Sounds right, good. We go with the boob, hand go with the boob like a, again. Sounds like a plan. Sounds right. like a plan. Fior says, <laughs> count me in. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but you have to wear a special outfit for the boob out, the boob off. Yes. Skimpy and not much. <laughs> You're going to get me fired. Jeff, oh. <laughs> Jeff is going to be in Brooklyn tomorrow. Sweet beans. Eddie says, yeah, you rock stars. <laughs> John Thanks, says, Eddie. <laughs> John says, my wife wins the boob off. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, my God. Wait, how many boobs are we going to have? It depends on how many. We're going to be a lot of boobs. I can't be a judge. I'm not allowed. Oh, really? I can be the MC. I heard but that. I... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm it. dying. Uh, wait, 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 no, we have to really uh, figure this one out now, because I can't be a judge. I can't. Why? I can't be a judge. Because, because, well, what, judge. well, what happens if Melissa goes in? Then what? Oh, I'm screwed. Oh, shit, there's some funny shit going on here. John says my wife wins the boob off. Fiora says, John, not if I'm in it. Victoria <laughs> says, that I do. <laughs> and then Fat Ass challenges Karasu to a farting contest. Oh, dude, you're gonna have to <laughs> fucking load up, man. Oh god! Oh, so uh, let's get the then? gas masks, shall we? I, I, give me I'm... some. Give me some. Give me some protein. Be straight. Give me some. Give me whatever amount of protein. I will fart, dude. I you want freshly frozen protein, though, dude? Th this is important. Fiora has basically challenged Victoria to a boob off. Oh boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. It says right here, Victoria, okay. we need to have a boob whoa. off. Wait, wait, wait a sec, hold on. Wow. John says, oh, wow. judge, does judging involve touching? Oh, wow. And Victoria <laughs> said, I'll take on the challenge. All right, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wow. Yes. We are going to have to seriously lay out some guidelines for this. Yeah. You, you know what? No, no, there that, that, has to be. Single guy judges. There are going to have to be some limitations. Of course. Because yeah. We don't need the cops rolling up in my house thinking we're having a porn ring in the back of my, in my backyard. <laughs> I'm just exactly. I'm, I'm dead serious on this. You know. Nah, not for real. I'm gonna have to, and we're gonna have to come up with waivers. We're gonna have to have people sign waivers because there can't be no fighting on anything with huh. boobs. Oh, that's funny. Fiora says, "Jimmy, you should be in it." <laughs> okay. Victoria says, "It doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, we both have great tits." Fair I will enough. be taking photos though to post on the web page. <laughs> I think I will do that. What about like nipples? First... <laughs> no, 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 no nipples. Allison says, I don't come home from my cruise until Sunday the 3rd. Well, that's perfect because it'll probably be Sunday anyway. 
Exactly. Because I have to work Monday. Yeah. Thank you, oh, Enzo. Do, thank Enzo just yeah. gave me his vote for me to win it. All right, Enzo's getting the MVP. Oh, Mike just said Soil will win the boobs challenge. That's disgusting. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> Fucking daddy is just, I, falling off over there. <laughs> Look at this shit. He's dying. He's falling <laughs> over. Jordan just said hell. Yeah, I win. Yeah, I win, guys. I'll die. I'll win. Watch. I win, guys. <laughs> Oh, come on, that is such a biased thing to say because he's your friend and say, you're the best guy in the story. That's such a biased thing to say. You know, the scary thing is... Oh. I'm so wait, 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 wait. The scary thing... This is what I'm Boyle. talking about. Get the hell out of here. Oh, my God. Oh, my. I'm so glad I, so, I sit so low. Because my I boobs win, are safe. What? Yeah, what was that? Like, I won, I won. Ah, look at my father's guy. Who's there? Oh, Mom, pull back in, pull back in. Oh, God, Mom. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, oh, Jordan, I'm trying to make that comment because I have the cleavage. That's true. The milk gone bad. Woo, that's slander, Mom. <laughs> yeah, I. The milk's gone bad. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> that is, yeah, he's having way too much fun right now. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he needs to come up for some air. What's up, Jeremy? <laughs> Jeremy Pritchard. Oh, my birthday, <laughs> Jeremy. Wow. This is oh, 20. <laughs> that is just said, Belly, suck my titties. You gotta ah! pick him up off the fucking floor to do that. I'm not so bad. Oh, God. Oh, God. This just oh. turned into a really raunchy episode. Uh, you know what? Oh, well, my that's God. Even better. <laughs> I'm, all I'm, all oh I'm saying God. right now is when this video is done, yep. that oh. everybody that participated <laughs> in this John, Vicky, uh, Steve, Night. Allison, Night. Miss, Miss <laughs> Blair, over there. <laughs> Oil. You you all better you Soil. all better do your hand and share in this video because no this kidding. is a doozy. Oh my god! Oh my god! Jerky boys and oh, fucking yeah, already, uh, already, Anthony already, have nothing on us. I already shared the video already. Yeah, I already, I already shared the video already. You know, I'm sharing. I already shared the broadcast already. Well, this is so, gonna be the first know, video. This is gonna be the first video I put up on YouTube. So it, it, it's gonna be insane. Oop. I'm I'm doing this one tonight. <laughs> you fucking how many emojis? Can we get an emoji count? <laughs> I do, oh, oh my, my god, god. god. It's right now. floating! Do, do you see this shit? <laughs> uh, dude, dude, fat ass just said to win it. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, 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 you lost me on that one. You seriously lost me. I'll fill you in later. Win it! Lickers! Hey, boy! Oh, dude, dude, you still there? Where are you? <laughs> yeah, remember, that, remember that time I called yeah. up Billy's house and I said, hey, Kevin, is Billy there? Okay, hold on a second. Billy, bye. <laughs> bye, bye. Oh, God. Yes, I remember that. God help us. I remember that. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, is that fat oh, yeah. still alive, though? Oh, my ribs. Oh, my ribs right now. <laughs> Please do <laughs> it. Please. Lamar's <laughs> glass. All right. Hold on one second. Oh. Allison has a good question. She says, what areas will the boobs be judged on? And then there we go. Thaddeus said, Thaddeus, don't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do the thing. I can't do the thing. I know, but we, we know the face in our, in our memories. <laughs> yeah. Right, so wait, 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 wait. So she does bring up a very interesting question. What area? The, I think size, areola. Well, well okay. Ribs. So if, if the judge... If the judging includes areolas, touching, <laughs> no, 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 we know because we, we agreed on no nipples. No, Karasa said areolas. But then you'd have to see nipple. You can't just see one without the other. It's unavoidable. Not really. It's unavoidable. Not really. Not really. Just put, just put an X for the nipple. That's all. Put a little page for the nipple. Oh, yeah, yeah, but the question is, how many people are actually going to go through with this? I don't know. We got some pretty ballsy listeners, though. We Yours. Do. I mean, Fior, I mean, I, I, and I've known, I've known John's wife for a while, and she's pretty ballsy. So that's two right there. I mean. The thing is, you, you know them. I, I don't. I mean, I've never met Fior. I've never them. met Fior. I'm, I'm telling you right now. The first time we all hang out, 
everything's going to hang out, period. Because that's just the way we are. I ain't whipping it out. I, <laughs> <laughs> we need that. Yeah, bro, we need that. No, because you're going to be showing off your boobs. You're going to get the special <laughs> outfit. You know, the shirt with I'll the two holes in it. I'll show my full and up yeah. Oh, 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 oh. that with the delivery guy. Oh, Lord. with the hairy ass. Oh. And you had the money between your cracks. With, <laughs> with the hairy ass. Yes. Oh, delivery geez. guy. I mean, oh, not, yes. I mean, it's not like you pissed in the couch or something, you know. <laughs> it's not like you took a shit in the in the um in the uh, little piece of in the closet. But this is we, true. You know, we didn't say that. Oh. John Wait, says oh, volume, consistency, that. perkiness, and in my face. <laughs> <laughs> it was serious up at the low last part. <laughs> well, I, I would say firmness, definitely. Firmness, perkiness is a difference. Oh, my God, yo. Because if they don't the fucking floor, that's it. No good. No but do you... Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Volume is basically what? They can together? So, like, okay, well, it's not, it's not together. Not together. <laughs> Because number number and the, the 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 size themselves. Oh, Nubsy is on. Hi, Nubsy. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's Mrs. Santiago. <laughs> oh God. All right. I, yes, I, I, actually, I seriously have to put in some some work onto this fucking contest now. <laughs> and make sure that who, we have. Who are going to be the judges? That's we have question. we have to have a privacy tent too because. Yeah, That's just the way it is. The There's, There's no. too many fucking nosy people over here. Oh, yeah. So, exactly. that's, defi that's definitely actually, something that's going to have to be taken care of. Unless we move it on the road and give my and give Pops a thrill. we have it at his house. He'd be the judge. He'd be exploding all over your couch. <laughs> I don't know if he can even produce that shit anymore. Oh, my God. You're you never know, buddy. You never know. Listen, all you you never, you'll never be just... surprised. Listen, you never, you never know, man. You are never too old to wax the carrot. I don't want to hear that. Right. He's got pictures of chicks on his wall and we're never there. Oh, Pounding the punch. <laughs> John said he's going to get them shits like a speed bag. We need a, we need a, we need a defibrillator for you. Oh, oh God, God you man. kill me. Clear. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. Uh, Mike you get a, says, you get a oh, you get that. dude, Mike said, die, stick your finger in my ass and help me poop. And he has a poop emoji. Oh, oh son of a bitch! Oh god! Son of a bitch! <laughs> uh, you know what? He pulled the poop. He kind of killed it now. Kinda killed it. Oh my god! Kind of killed it. I'm serious right. about uh, the boob off at the old man's house. Oh well, god! You know what? And I'll be private. nice. I will put the cleaning lady in the contest. Oh no! Oh man! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! She's pretty top heavy. She can do good. All right, uh, we are at that time. Uh oh! Unfortunately, time to lick the ball bag. <laughs> unfortunately, we have hit the limit, so we kind of have to kind of shut it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. No problem. Well, guys, I'll catch you later. Thanks, man. Later, cross. Later, I'll see you when I get later, back. Guys. All right. Later, guys. Night. Yes, sir. I'm yes, man. Later, later. <laughs> All righty, man. Bye. Later. Oh. <sighs> Wow. That was fun. That was just... I don't know. You talk about articles of, of cocks and bowls and... And it turns into setting boobs, up a and then tick it, contest. Yeah, it's setting up a tick contest. So. Jeremy said, no, don't go. <laughs> listen, we, we are... We have all of the shows on, on YouTube. Yes. Um, Next week, we will have... Uh, well... Jim will be away in Vegas. Viva Las Vegas. Helen will be leaving us for two weeks for Dallas. So, Sorry. Uh, Karasu, who was just on the phone with us, will be here. Uh, Melissa will be here. Uh, we may have somebody else. I don't know. Like We, we can always flip-flop it around. For... Yeah, i got to remember what the time oh, by the way, to so, when to call in. Yes, that's true. Yeah. And the other thing, uh, what was it? Uh, you're going to be, what, uh, three hours away? Yeah. Uh-oh, I think we've got one more call. Welcome to the show, fat ass. You guys got problems. Hi, Jordan. Thank you, we do. Hi, Jordan. I have problems. <laughs> you just wanted Billy's mother oh. to stick your finger up her ass to help him pull. <laughs> you guys got Jordan fucking Not that you buzz with. Woo! <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? Fat ass. 
By the way, lower your volume in the back so we can actually hear you. Yeah, good idea. Let me do that right now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I got it. Okay, what's going on, guys? Not much. We we're actually just getting ready to shut, shut it down, but now that you're yeah, yeah, I just want to call real quick. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. Going around, uh, doctor, the mall. Yeah, but we still have ten. Oh my god. Dude, that that's daddy's on the phone. He's yeah. He just called you out now. He just said Mike. He just said Mike in the comment section. All right, tell Mike Seth. Tell me, take some time. I'll be there. Yep. And you tell me something about um a holiday or something like that. Like, listen, 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 that's like three weeks away. So like anything can happen. I'll tell you right. Well, now. that's good because I'm on vacation. So uh, same thing. I got nothing to do. I'll definitely pass by. Is this going to be held on a Sunday? You know I work Monday. Yeah, probably be Sunday. Good, good, because I get out of the 8 a.m. And I don't have to worry about it because I'll be on vacation until that Tuesday. Ten days of vacation. Ten. What's up, Nubsay? Guys, I'll be on vacation. I'll be on vacation two weeks. Yeah, but you don't work on your mouth. work weekends. So do I. Well, tell that my job. Badass. Yeah. Watch your mouth, you little bastard. Well, she said Sunday is perfect. All right, so we'll, we will work on that. I have to, I have to uh, run over right after church, so that'll have to be. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, that's right. We have a, we have a church going a little bit on the show. <laughs> oh, and by the way, my wife, won, well, she, my wife wants to be in the boot contest, too. No! Oh, no! Oh, no, that's oh, weird. Oh, you missed it. Look at that. That's, that's, that could be torture. That could seriously be Okay, so we'll get so fine. Okay, you and Bill, we'll get a mom over there then. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Okay, Jen, how about our mom? John just said, I'm out, guys. Gonna eat and not have a lot of sex. <sighs> Thanks for that oh, notion. Yeah. That one, John. Thanks for that notion. Well, I got a flight tomorrow, you fat bastard. So thanks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, was that to him or the mic? Or to huh? John? Is that to John? No, uh, Mike. Oh, Who else? Okay. Oh my God! Yeah, you had to talk the last minute. Wow. wow. You're a good girl. Oh, hey, better late than never. Good girl. All right, Mike. We gotta <laughs> shut it down. So. Yeah. All right, guys. I'll talk to you. All righty, man. All right, later, guys. Later. later. All right. Later. All right. No more phone calls. No more. God damn it! We're already fucking twelve minutes over. Oh boy. All right, so do we have any final comments on this lovely fucking news slash? Let's do more of it because it is fun. Our viewers like it. Enzo said, "Mike, go for it. Be the judge." Oh Ugh. God! What are you kidding me? You get all handsy. He's handsy now. <laughs> that hasn't stopped him since he wore that wedding ring. <laughs> He's fucking handsy now. He's handsy thinking about it. Oh yes, boy, that, that is true too. That is true too. Uh, let's not go there. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I got a little excited. All right, so you guys, you guys, you guys say good night now. All right, good night now, Helen. <laughs> see you in a couple of weeks. Yes, and I'll be back next week. We have all brand new shit. So yes, I'll see you in a couple of weeks as well. Like, share, comment the videos. Uh, the get on YouTube, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like I said, there's plenty of videos on there, oh, and yeah. we have more coming. So we might even release some of the old ones. I don't know. Hey, listen, Nubsy, don't start. Oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> Good night, viewer. Good night, everybody, and we'll uh, catch you all on the flip side. It won't end. What the fuck?